All right, moving on to the next one, level three, building civilization. We know swamps, we know caves, we know camps, we know deserts, but now we have castles, and castles are a special thing in here. We need to build three with matching monsters. That needs to happen because castles give the most points should they have their matching monster to it. Orctropolis is building camps. The creatures that go inside of the camps are all orcs, so you have to have a two by two grid of camps. They do not have to be all unique, but I prefer them to be because you get more points that way. And of course you wanna put the orcs on them, scoring 54 points or more. Got our two monsters up there. Let's go see who they are and pick our player. All right, first choice, Belladonna. Remove a token from your map, then choose one token among the three offered to you and place it on your map or lair. And she also gets two points at the end of the game for every token in her lair. So it's kind of a way of just pulling something immediately to her lair or putting something on the map if you need it. Not bad, pretty good. We also have Porcus over here. When drafting this turn, tile and token, you can take any tile and any token. Fantastic way in order to get exactly what you want if things are on the map, but in different spots. Plus one point for each type of monster and mini boss on your map. Each mini boss is a unique type. So the more mini bosses like that, the more points there are. He gets to take whatever. I love Belladonna, I really do. But Porcus for right now, my man, you're the one I gotta take. So here we go. Bring you in and here we go. All right, so we have the castles right here. Castles again are very important because they give two points by themselves. And if you put their monster that's associated with it, which are uh, vampires, it's an additional two points. So each castle can be worth up to four points. We need three castles, each with their own vampire on it. So that's a thing. Um, I have to take the castle in order to prepare it and then be able to hopefully put a vampire on it later through uses of portals or things along that way. See, there you go. Actually, this is the perfect setting right here because I can take this, pop that here, we'll put the vampire on top, and as soon as I see a portal, I can swap them, and then boom, that's a portion of the way there. Now, I also need camps. Oh, I have two camps right here, one with the portal that I need and one with a mini boss, which is even better. Let's start it right here. We'll take the portal and we'll actually immediately use that portal for one, two. Huzzah, fantastic. And the camp didn't go away, nor did the mini boss. Yay! So now this needs to again be a two by two, we'll put you here, uh, form of uh, camp. So I gotta either do two on top or two on the bottom, but that does require me getting <laughs> more um, camps. Let's take the dungeon. We'll put the dungeon right here. So that could be at most five points in the end, which is great. We love having points and I have another portal for something later. That's good. Uh, see, you would be great if I had um, the other thing. Um, I could take a desert. That'll just give me two points instead of zero and I can have room for a sandworm later. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put that here. Bloop. Don't need anything else. There goes the sandworm, but that's fine. Ah, there we are. All right, so we have a vampire here, but we also have our, uh, what is it? Uh, castle right here. Let's go ahead, go over to Porcus. Activate! <laughs> we'll choose this. We'll choose this and we'll go to the board and we'll plop them right here. And right there. Huzzah! That's two down. Uh, we need to have one more castle built, which actually has to go right here. Or I could put it right here and I can put these two spots with, um, what is it, uh, camps, should they come out. Now I do have a mini boss over to the side as well. Um, hopefully we'll be able to grab it, if it doesn't disappear. All right, beautiful. Up and up. Oh, castle. A castle with a mini boss, I can grab it. Oh. I don't want any crystals, because then at least I'll earn that. Um, matching monsters, band size. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Let's go ahead and do it. Do I wanna put it here? That's gonna limit me, because I do need one of these two spaces here or here to be a camp. Uh, I think it's not gonna matter either way. Let's just put it here. I have portals, so, uh, or I can just put it here. Bam, of course, just put it right there. And then when a vampire shows up on the side, which hopefully it will, Yes, yes. 
and then I can just drop it off right there. So I'm gonna do that right now, actually. We'll take this. That's gonna cut off my desert. And it's also gonna limit me now. All right, let's put it here. Let's take this vampire, put it there. Come on, camp, camp, give me a camp. Give me a camp. We did Castlemania, fantastic. Ah, uh, oh, I was hoping for a camp. Oh, I can put another mini boss. That'll be three. All right, let's do that. Put that there. Put this here. Oh, please camp. Please a camp. Please a camp. Give me a camp. Give me a camp. Give me a camp. Ah, oh, there's no camp. Oh, are you serious? Ah, oh, so that means I gotta try to go for 54 points because I can't do the two by two for the camp because I only have two more spaces left. Ah, oh, that stinks. Um, let's just do another, let's just do this. Let's put you here. Uh, you can go, you have to go here. And then I do have a vampire on the bottom uh, or I have this one as well. Yeah, let's put this here. And then we will. Can I, oh, I can't, oh no. Can I swap it for someone else? Oh, shoot. All right, well, let's, uh, let's just do that because I used it and I think that's gonna be the end of it. But I got my, my objective points. Fantastic, I got that at least. So I got two out of the three, which means I still get to move on to the next level, even though I didn't do the two by two. Uh, Porkus got me a bunch of points, which definitely, how much did I need? 54, oh God, those points got me exactly what I needed. Um, tile placement, crystals, matching monsters. Ooh, okay, there we are. Just little by little making our way down. Here we go, on to the next one. All right, halfway through the campaign, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Two, three, and two. So we've lost two lives so far going into the back half of the campaign. Starting with Gathering Storm, we got caves, we got deserts, we got castles, we got cloud cities or cloud islands, I'm sorry, uh, and summoning circles. So two brand new terrains for this particular one. And we need to use both of them in order to gain points. Build three or more cloud islands. Each must be worth three points and may not border another cloud island. That's gonna be interesting. And then the next one is build four summoning circles. Each must have a matching monster, which is a wizard and uh, 56 points altogether. Let's see who our bosses are. All right, and then for this level, we can choose from Zixiax, 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 whatever. You guys let me know uh, that's pronounced down below. Uh, exchange one token on your map or lair with a token from the market. Kind of just doing a swip swap, uh, getting what you need out and putting something back that's not you needed. Uh, score the following based on the number of tokenless terrains. So if you have uh, three or more tokenless terrains, oh, so he wants tokens. So if you have no tokenless terrains at all, you get six points for a three, but wow, that's pretty good. Oh, wow, that's a really good score. Um, Cerebellus is discard, then restock all tokens. So this is like Kazana. Kazana did all um, terrains. He does all tokens. And for every four or more of the same monster type on your map, you gain four points. I'm actually gonna go with Zixiax over here because I think doing a quick exchange is better. And I wanna make sure as many things as I have have tokens on it. So that should be a good point boost in order to gain that, uh, what is it, 56 points or whatever it is that I need for my um, uh, uh, scoring point over here. Anywho, if you look over to the left as well, or the middle, I should say, the mini boss and crystals, that whole square has been completed. So I earned a, an experience point towards my final score uh, right there, which is great. So then by the end of this, I'll have more of these filled up. And then every crystal that fills in is another point towards my final score. I think I also get points for the more lives I have left over as well. So definitely want to try to do as much as you can, as fast as you can. I need to make more matching monsters. I need to make more, a bit, three bands three two bands or a three band or something along that way. Yeah, okay, so I'm seeing what I have here in order to do what I gotta do. As far as the new terrain, cloud islands are great because they have a base uh, value of seven, but each cloud island loses one point for every non-cloud island type on your map. So this could go from a seven 
uh, six, five, four, three. So if I have one of every type on my map, then these are only worth three points each. So you want more cloud islands, because if you have, if you fill your board with cloud islands for some way, that's a ridiculous amount of points. Uh, not likely, but it is a thing. The summoning circles all have a base point of one, which isn't really much. But when placing it down, you can immediately exchange a token placed on top of it, or one that's bordering it from one with the market. Also amazing because you can just swap in and out something quickly that you don't need or could use later or something along that way to gain your points. Now, I need clouds and I need them to be worth a lot. So we're gonna start up here with this cloud. They also can't be touching each other. So boop, put that there and what's next? All summoning circles. Wow. Okay, um, let's then take this. We'll show it off. Sure, we'll show it. We'll put this here. Poof. Um, we'll put you here. And now I can trigger the power of the summoning circle. So I can take this mini boss and do this and boom. Rather than my one token not meaning anything, at least a mini boss is up there, appropriately enough, the fairy flying up there, and then getting those extra points. I need at least two mini bosses in order to be able to get the next point there. So moving right along. Oh, oh man, that's so good. See, there's my other mini boss, but this is a great thing as well. What is this? All right, let's let's um, let's do this first. I'm gonna put this guy down, bunk, and boom. I know that it registers it quicker than, um, so when I, that scattering showers, for example, if I can accomplish that in the middle of the game, it immediately triggers which means even if it goes to the point where then they're worth less than three points going on, um, it's fine, like it's it's okay. So let's just keep doing this. I need one more cloud. If I can get another cloud, then I should be able to um, do what I wanna do. How many summoning circles? Four, each with their own thing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I see what I have here. Maybe exchange one token on map or layer with one. All right, well, I guess, the best thing to do then is to do this. And I hate that because then like the, uh... actually no, no, they're, they're still fine. So let's go ahead then and trigger your ability. And we will take you and swap you with you. Ta-da, look at that, wow. All right, we're doing pretty good. So I need four summoning circles at minimum with matching monsters. And then three clouds, each must be worth three ports and have no other one. All right, so I need another cloud. If I can get one more cloud here, then that would be great. I need another summoning circle. Ugh. All right, we'll take this. This is gonna make my summoning circles worth less now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I have to do it. I have to do something in order to be able to keep things moving along, unfortunately. Um, I, can I do something? I don't think I can do anything. Oh, just end turn, there we go. Next, cloud, uh, but, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Um, and I'm gonna do this and I'm not gonna trigger its ability. So put that there and we'll put this here and we're not gonna bot, you know, sure. Just, just yay, hooray, <laughs> swippity swap because we can. Oh, I need one more summoning circle and I got it with a mini boss. That's fine, that's fine. We can do this, and I'm gonna be able to trigger it too, and this is gonna be amazing. Oh my goodness. You and you. Ta-da! Yeah, Dark Ritual complete. Now, now we need a cloud. And the problem now is, is that I can't put too many more different types on the field because it's just gonna keep going down because it's seven. I got six, five. So they're all worth five points now. Each must be worth three or more and not bordering. So I can put one more down and not have to worry about, all right, you go here. You guys go over there, that's fine. I need a cloud, I need a cloud. Give me a cloud. Oh, there's no cloud. Oh, but I can put this down. I can put that down. Um, putting this down 
won't reduce it because I already have, uh, what is it? Um, caves on there, so that's good. I have a few more turns to get a cloud, please. Ah, uh, no cloud, but I can put this, right? Yeah, let's do that. And then I get to have to put down a mini token or a monster, so. Oh, I don't have the space for anything. Cool, all right, fine. Two more turns to get a cloud. Give me a cloud. There you are, with a fairy to go with it. Shaboom. Shabang. End of turn. Boom, right there, scattered showers. Beautiful, so now we know we at least passed this one. And just for shizes and hahas, let's put this there, and we'll put this guy there to gain a quick four points. Ta-da, end of turn. I don't think I did the maximum pointage on this. Oh, I did, yes! Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Look at that, 57 points. Oh, that is, that is awesome, wow. How do we do? Um, we got six points. Hang on one second, what do I need? Yeah, okay, see, that was those boss scores. Those really make a difference. Got six from the boss, which is amazing. 19 from the tokens, and then 32 points in total from everything else. Oh, that is, that is great, yes, yes, yes. Let's keep this going. All right, level five Ragnarok. Out of all of the levels, this is actually my least favorite because our new uh, terrain type here are volcanoes. We have to destroy six or more tokens, whether it be monsters or mini bosses, with the volcano placement. And the way that that works is that when you place a volcano down, it destroys all orthogonally placed uh, tokens. So I have to like preset up where everything goes, drop a volcano to try to get the most out of it I can, and then just keep going and the more tokens I miss, the, like I lose, the um, the harder it is for me to place things. Though I do have a boss that may help me. Uh, also, death on all sides, each edge of the map must border a graveyard. And your map must also have a band of skeletons and 58 uh, points or more. All right, that, that's actually not as hard as it sounds because it was a lot easier. I, I made it more complicated the first time I played it, but I'll, I'll tell you when we get there. First, let's talk about our bosses. Explodo, his active power is at the start of your turn. So you have to do this before you make your choices or anything. Destroy three tokens on your map. That is, you have to destroy three. It's not up to three, it must be three. When you draft, I take one tile and all of the tokens from the market, which is great because you get a whole lot of tokens back, but I'm going to be destroying tokens anyway with the, um, what is it, uh, volcano tiles. So uh, it's kind of like, uh, it, 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 it could work, it couldn't work. It's hard to say with this one, but you do get plus one for each band on your map that includes no matching monsters, which is a very weird way of putting it. But hey, what are you gonna do? Killer the gorilla over here. Move a token on your map to a train without a token. If you have no bands of monsters at the end of this, score additional points. I might, that might be happening because of the fact that everything is just going to blow up. So I'm actually gonna choose Killa for this and in we go. Now, again, as I've said before, um, the, uh, the death on all sides isn't really that hard to pull off. I should be able to do that right now. Um, I only have two additional points. I need to start making bands. I know she doesn't do well with bands, but I need to start making bands and I'm gonna start doing this. So we're gonna put this here. We'll put that one on top of it. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, so there's the volcano. That's cool too. That was not where I wanted to go with this. Uh, I made a mistake and I'm already going to be using her special ability. All right, so, uh, and I'll explain uh, actually right now because, uh, you know, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna use her special ability right now. I'm gonna wait on it. I think I should be able to pull it off. Oh. Oh, sweet, sweet malarkey of malarkey. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, perfect. So we're gonna put this right here. Now, technically, for the first part of Death on All Sides, we have now accomplished it. Each edge of the map must uh, must border um, a graveyard. So I believe that is here and here. So it's uh, it's up, down, left, and right. So that's the left and the right. And then this up here is left, is top and the right, well, whatever. Up and to the right and then left and to the bottom, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure I accomplished that. I do need a band of skeletons as well. And I'm gonna put this guy right here. 
because I think I'm gonna try to put something here, here, and then drop a volcano there and blow it all up. That's, that's the goal, that's the idea. We'll see how this works. Oh, that's fine. Let's actually, you know what, let's just be safe. I'm gonna put that there. And we'll put this here. That's good. There goes my volcano. Fantastic. I need that volcano. I also <laughs> need, um, what else do I need? Skeletons. I need skeletons. We'll put that there. And we'll put this here. Enter. Now, give me a volcano. There is no volcano. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Uh, where do I, what do I want to do now? Oh no. Oh no. Well, I think at the very least, I want to be able to get done with one of the things. So we're going to put this graveyard here. And then you do have to just go, just put you on the board. But I will use the portal, whoops, to swap you and you. And then if I end turn, that should accomplish death on all sides. So hooray, that's all. Hey, and there's my volcano with a portal as well. So if you drop this here, boom, that's three out of six of the tokens that I need in order to accomplish uh, that other goal. So that's a thing that just happened. That all goes there. Um, let's, take, let's take you. I need three bands of two, or at least a band of three somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna get a band of three, but I'm gonna put, yeah, we'll put this here. And we'll put this here. And there's a band of two right there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I know I need another volcano or something. I don't need any more, um, what is it? Those. I could just put another one of these down. Right now they're doing pretty good in terms of uh, how much they're worth. Let's uh, let's do that, sure. Let's put it here. I'll put this here. And then maybe I'll take the castle. No, ba, 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 yeah. We'll take the castle, which disappeared. Thanks, thanks. Um. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hmm. All right, let's try to make a band of three. I'm gonna take you, and we're gonna put you here. Bloop. And we'll take this and pop that right here. I am then going to choose you and you and swap. I am then going to activate your special ability and move you here. Ta-da! And I technically could move that fire down to, uh, what is it, the uh, the volcano. But uh, for right now, we'll just kind of leave it as is. I don't think I'm going to be doing, man, I really want to do that Ragnarok in order to get rid of it. But, ah, uh, geez, geez, that's tough to do at this point because I need three in order to do it. I don't need any more portals. Uh, that's, you know, let's make a band of four put you here and it's better point value to do this than having a band of three or swapping the fairy with the fire monster to where it goes. I could also do absolutely nothing <laughs> at this point. Ah, criminy. Um, I don't have a summoning circle, so I can't put you anywhere. I could just get two points or I can pop this down and gain a Let's just do that. Yeah, whatever. That ends it right here, unfortunately. I don't think I got either. Right? Ah, yep. Nope, nope, nope. I got 48 points, so I was 10 off. Because that, like, death, I tell you, you drop the volcano on it, and it just destroys all of your pieces. And, man, it wipes you out so badly. Ah. All right, so... Unfortunately, in this situation, it won't let me move on to the final one because you have to do at least two completed before you move on. I won't be showing the full game of this one. I'll be showing highlights. So uh, let me head on in and I'll let you know how it turns out. Explodo! Uh, boom, boom, 
And a boom. And we'll take you. And we'll put you. We'll put you right here. Yeah, look at that. Look at all the good stuff that I have in the end. But now I gotta put everybody on the map somewhere. Oh, bands galore. Here we go. All right, moving on to my last placement here. Got to figure out what I want to do. I wish I had a skeleton. Because if I had a skeleton, I could swap it with the fire guy and then have a band of three, because I have another band of four, which is going to finish that off, which is going to be awesome. But I don't have any band of three. I'd rather... That would fill up that. No, I'd rather just do the other band of four. four fours are a lot harder to get, obviously. Um, oh, I don't want to put anything else that I already have. Uh, do I need a second crystal? Crystal two. Actually, sure, sure. Let's do it. Whatever. Pop that there. Get a little extra points. Get another extra crystal. Obviously, I didn't do the fire thing. I was just going for points. Just trying to get as many points out of this as possible. Did I get it? Yes! Yes, I did. That's fine. I'm skipping that volcano one completely because I hate the volcano. Whoa, 62. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Um, and no points from the boss. So this was all me. All right. So got a lot from Cloud Island. So as you can see, you can do some pretty crazy stuff with them if you just keep putting clouds on the board. Um, got a lot for the bands. My crystals gave me a bunch. Some dungeon power. Oh, man, it was so good. All right. Awesome. Amazing. Fantastic. Now we move on to the final level. Dungeon Master. This one, I get to choose my terrains. First thing I have to do is themed dungeon. I love my themes. Build a dungeon surrounded by the same tile type on all sides. So it's orthogonal, up, down, left, right. Great, but not so great with the second one, score 10 points with dungeons because dungeons themselves are one point plus one point for each different uh, terrain type around it. Dungeons do consider themselves also different, by the way. So if you put a dungeon next to a dungeon, they'll each give each other one additional point. So that means two dungeons have to have four different things around them in order to be able to do this successfully. Is it possible to do here? Yes. Is it hard to also do that and score the full 65 points? Absolutely. But what I am going to do is we will first go with towers because we haven't seen those yet. So we'll put those on. Again, those are the uh, additional tile that was given uh, through the Kickstarter, by the way, if you have physical copy of this, so it's not in the base game. Uh, and then, of course, I believe it's like a DLC or something extra added to this. Uh, it wasn't on the Switch. It was just part of the Switch, which was great. I believe I saw it on Steam, where it's like the expanded pack or whatever that had the uh, the collector and this one or whatever. But just to let you know, in case you have this, you wonder where your, your towers are. But I want that, and I need terrains that can go on the board that don't matter where they are, and they're still gonna power up. So that would be forests, graveyards, uh, camps, and towers. Now the towers need to have um, the uh, the vampires to go with, not the towers, the castles. The castles need to have the vampires to go with them, as you can see right there, which is great. Um, but at the very least, oh, we got a dungeon straight off the hop too. Fantastic. Now, first things first, Grotus here is awesome. Draft twice this turn, skip your next turn. Basically what that means is I would then draft and then I could draft from the three tiles uh, for terrain and monsters that are remaining. So if there is something I really needed that I could not take the chance of the computer getting rid of, you do this and then you were able to grab them both immediately in succession. The downfall is then that the other two that you would have here are gone and the whole board is reset. Also not the worst thing, but it is what it is. How do we got here? All right, look at those. One, two, three, which is fantastic. If I can make a band of three, uh, that's great. A band of two would also, so it's, you know, I need to make one band of three at the very least. Uh, I need to make two bands of threes as well in order to get that, or three bands of two, what, or, that's what I meant. Um, I also need six matching mantra. Man, I got a lot that I gotta do in this one if I wanna get any of the extra. I still got five hearts, so that's fantastic as well. And then towers are, towers may hold up to three tokens. Base value of one point plus one point per token max four. So with this, I can put a token on the tower and then I put another token and another token. If I ever needed to swap, you're only swapping whatever the top token is. So if you put something on the bottom, it's basically fed to the tower of sorts. Um, putting matching tokens like this weird eye guy on their tower will also gain additional points. So really it says max four, 
but it could be max seven if you put uh, three of these eyeball tokens on the tower all at once. Very hard to do, not really worth it, but it's something to remember. Let's put you here because I'm already seeing a great thing that I can do right now. I can use the forest and start bouncing around. Good, there's another forest, fantastic. So we're gonna do that. We'll put this forest here and then we'll take the match, put that there. Perfect. Um, do I wanna risk it? No, I'm fine, go, it's fine. You wanna go away? Perfect, excellent. I like, oh, and multiple dungeons as well. Oh, this is great. All right, we're gonna grab this and put it here. Unfortunately, the vampire is going to have to go on top, but I will have a portal for later use. So that means I need a forest uh, here and here in order to accomplish that first one. Then I need to use whatever remaining dungeons I have in order to uh, just make more points. I need forests. More forests, no more forests. But we do have other dungeons, which is good. Um, oh, but you're really good too. Oh, do I want the points? I do want the points. We're gonna put this, I'm gonna put this in this corner over here. We'll do this. That's four points right there, which is great. Got lots of dungeons to work with. So no matter which one goes away, I don't really care. That's fine. Um, oh, and I have a mini boss that I could use as well. All right, yeah, we'll grab you. We're gonna put you here. Perfect, all right. And then I don't think I can move that mini boss anywhere. No, that's fine. So that's good. I just need more forests. I just need green. Show me some green. I got no green. No green. No green, unfortunately. Um, but I can. Hmm. Uh, let's let's put you up here. And let's use our. Nope, nope, nope. Let's put you. Uh, no. Hey, 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 hey. No, I don't want to use this. Put that down. Thank you. Let's put Mr. Eyeball Guy up here. And now we'll use the portal and put this guy up here. Good, fantastic. Because I want to get just that extra pointage as best as I can. All right, come on, give me a forest, give me a forest. There's a forest and a green. That's beautiful, I love it. Ah, blah, blah, blah. I could use the tower as well for something. Let's, all right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna put this here. Um, I have to put you here, don't I? Yes, I do. That's space. But that's all right. I can deal. I can deal. Let's go ahead and use your power to draft twice. Do I want to do that yet? No, no, we'll, we'll wait once. We'll, we'll wait one turn. Get rid of something. All right. That's a thing that just happened there. Um, now I need more, more, um, other stuff. We'll put you up here. Good. See, just points. The points for these towers are absolutely amazing. Get rid of that. I need a forest. I need one more. All right, so we have another dungeon, which is good. I could put this dungeon right here, which is awesome. I can't put that anywhere, which is fine. I need a forest. I really, really, really need a forest. And everything else up there isn't going to do me any good whatsoever. Uh, go! Come on, come on. Ah, oh, no forest. Ah, oh, but I can put a bunch of tokens on. So let's, I have one crystal. I need three crystals, I'm not gonna be able to do that, I don't care. Uh, yeah, let's just put a bunch of tokens on this. We'll put that there. I'm actually gonna put you on the bottom and then we're gonna put you right on top. There we go, so that's, that's a good looking tower so far. And I got a band going on, which is even better. I just don't wanna put anything on top of that because then I lose the band. I got two turns. I got two turns. And I haven't used, there it is. There, you know, why don't we just go ahead and use the power because we can. We'll put this here, boom. And we'll put this, no, no, we'll just put it here. And then, because we haven't used this power and I only have one more turn, let's go ahead and grab it. Draft twice and skip your next turn. Yeah, King Rook. Um, and as far as what will be my best choice, that's gonna give me one point, because I have one tower, that's gonna give me four points in total because that uh, graveyard is worth uh, three. That's four points in total there. 
yes, actually, this is gonna be my biggest point value for this last turn. So pop that there, grab the crystal. Oh, man. Ah. I need 10 points. What do I got? Eight. Eight. I got eight points worth of uh, dungeons. And what did I need? 10? Ah. Uh, and my point value was so low. See, that's the problem with this. It's almost a guarantee that you're gonna have to do this one twice, only because the first, the theme dungeon and the dungeon run are very contradictory to each other. If I had another dungeon, I could have done it in that corner, uh, but it was just a matter of finding the right combination. All right, as before, we're going back in, we're gonna finish this up and end this area. Um, I. I like it. I like this combination. This is the combination that, I, this is gonna work because I needed um, space between the areas. I, I can't have all too many de deserts together because dungeons need to have different things touching it. So if I do this, this, do I want something else? Maybe caves? But they need to be on the border. Eh, camps. No, that's it. This is what we got right here. All right, I'll meet you when something happens. All right, so far so good with surrounding dungeons with things. Unfortunately, my uh, my monsters aren't really spaced out as well as I want, but let's go ahead and activate King Croak once again, because I want this and I want this here for maximum pointage. I'm also trying to get as many crystals as I can as well. Clear those out. Oh, it only cleared out one. I thought it was gonna clear out both of them. I, okay, well, that was a thing. Um, oh, it's a good, good stuff stuff here um let's let's go with uh, uh i'd rather go with this let's let's put this here and i will put this guy here get at least another band going that's fine come on give me a crystal or something uh, i got more forests okay that's not bad i think this might actually do it because i need 10 points or more one two three four four Five, six, seven, eight. This may do it. This may actually do it. Popping this here. Yeah, all right, sweet. 10 points for my dungeons. And now I just gotta figure out what I gotta do for 65 points or more. I could put that down. That'll be my fifth grassland. I could then do a band of four. I know that's going to reduce that pointage there. But I think it may be better off to do, well, I could do this actually. No, no, because that's only one point. No, this is the better, this is the better choice. Let's put this one here. because That's five points in addition, because this is giving me 15 points in total. Um, whereas this is, so it's going up from 10 to 15. So that's five extra points. Whereas this one is only going to be two points. And I would move one to one. It only give me one point. I'm just trying to do some quick math here, if it's even worth it. Um, that's that. I want the portal. I want the portal because I can move I guy right here up to here and actually get a second band of uh, four, which I think that's what that means, right? Or is that two in a game? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really 100% sure what that means. Maybe. I, maybe that means I need two bands for each game or something. I don't know. Um, I guess if that's the case, maybe I should go for a three in order to get one. Um, hmm, oh boy, choices here. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment section below what you would do in a situation like this. What would be your final move? Uh, for me, I'm just gonna play it simple and just go with putting the tower here, with putting the vampire on it to give me the maximum amount of points that way in the hopes that maybe, oh, nope, I was, I was far off regardless of anything. <laughs> it did not matter because that was 54 points right there for that. It, 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 it just was what it was, that's it. However, with that said, that means that I have finished the campaign mode. I am uh, fiendish apparently as my ability score. Uh, my extremely difficulty score was fine. I'm a mini boss still, I should have had more soul gems, but there you have it, everybody. That's my final score when it comes to campaign mode. And unfortunately, at that point, 
that's really it. The one thing that I really wish that they add to this, I mean, it's really good. It's really, really well made. I'm very happy with the way that this ended up and everything. Uh, what was it? Uh, Goblin Studio did a fantastic job translating the uh, board game from Brotherwise uh, uh, Games to uh, uh, you know the digital version here. I just wish there was a little bit more maybe like animation, like fanfare for completing a campaign. Um, also, when you go back into campaign mode, it doesn't matter what you choose. It's always going to be the same regardless. So those levels that I did before are always going to be the same. I kind of wish that this was switched around a little bit. I feel like that's not the hardest thing to do to kind of give like randomized stuff and whatnot, but that's of course for the future, for this game, if it ever sells uh, really well, which I hope it does. And that also means that that is up to you out there who's watching this right now to not only let me know what you think of Overboss as a game itself, but also what do you think of the digital version of it? Is this something you're gonna be picking up? Is this something that you're interested in? And now after seeing this, does it spark any additional interest to at least go and check it out? I still love my physical copy. I'll still bring that out. I combined it with, like I said, Overboss Duels, which adds more terrain, more monsters, and more ways to play. Maybe we'll see that here one day. Maybe we won't. Who knows? But until that point, thank you guys so much for joining me on my campaign and tutorial for Overboss, a boss monster adventure. Please look forward to more Brotherwise game stuff coming to the channel, especially when I get super boss monsters and things like that in the future. That means in order not to miss that or any other boss monster action or any other fun video I have to put out for you to enjoy, be sure you are subscribed to the Home Gamer Dad. If you wish to support the channel even further, there are ways to do that down in the comments section below. Uh, as mentioned before, this was a two-part video, but if you're a Patreon or a YouTube member, you've got it all in one shot. So boom for you right there. Thank you very much. Otherwise, that either way, your view, your like, your share of this, you know, share it on social media, share it uh, with your friends, family, or anything along that way to make this game look like get out there even more. Uh, your comments, your subscription, all of that is really what makes me become the strongest boss monster in the land and overthrow all that seek to dethrone me. Which I hope one day this becomes uh, maybe cross-platform multiplayer game, because right now, again, it's just couch co-op here on my Switch. But, you know, maybe one day I'll be able to play with somebody on PlayStation or somebody on Steam or something along that way. I just prefer it on my Switch over my computer because it's easier for me to play it's just a better way for me to get into it. And it was just a little bit cheaper for me here for some reason, I'm not really too sure why. But hey, all that and said and done, thank you again. You've been amazing. Take care of yourselves and each other. We are family forever, gaming together, overthrowing the land, placing our tiles, our minions, our monsters, and showing all that we reign supreme. You guys have a good one, and I will see you in the next one.